Black Brim are one tough little fish and they're thriving in just about every estuary in WA except one, the Blackwood. So today we're going to head out with some researchers and find out why that is. At 270 k's, the Blackwood River is the longest running estuary in WA's southwest. About 25 years ago, Brim numbers began to drop off, despite doing well in just about every other system in Western Australia. There's lots of you know, agriculture around here, there could be some chemical runoffs. Um, there's a lot of salt water now coming down the headwaters, which has changed the biology in the, in the river. So it could be any of those things and we're trying to find that out. Greg Jenkins is leading a team from Challenger TAFE and Murdoch University to uncover why the black brim is struggling here. And while those answers are a few years off, in the meantime, they've been busy addressing a more immediate issue, saving the Blackwood River population with an intensive restocking program. Today, they're setting nets to recapture fish for a head count. They're expecting a decent haul, but most of the fish will be brim they've put in the river themselves. Definitely makes my fish tank at home look pretty average. Yeah. They breed the fingerlings here at Challenger Tafe in Fremantle. Have a black brim, one female, say of a kilogram of size, would have about eight million eggs, would lay, hatch about eight million eggs in one season. And yet, if they can get one or two of those fish to survive to and back up to broodstock size, that replenishes the population. So it just shows the incredible high uh, mortality rate you get in the wild. Yeah. How delicate life is. About six years ago, 200,000 of these fingerlings were released into the Blackwood River. They were first dipped in a chemical solution, a type of pink dye that shows up in the ear bone, or otolith, used to age the fish. So if they're recaptured, they can be identified as a hatchery fish rather than wild stock. After setting the nets the night before, we're all up early to check them out. Greg and his team of scientists have been doing this regularly over the past few years to keep track of how successful the restocking has been. Well, what's really unusual about the Blackwood River is it slopes off really quickly, so the guys can set their nets in really close to shore. And they're just pulling in one of the nets now. As you can see, they've got a pretty good catch. In fact, these regular net checks have shown about 85% of the fish caught are hatchery bred stock which means it's increased the Blackwood brim population eightfold. So the restocking program has been a great success. But the fact that the wild brim aren't breeding naturally is still a big concern. We really need to pinpoint this problem. Where is this bottleneck? What's, what's causing these fish not to breed? This ongoing project is being funded with the help of the Fisheries Research and Development Corporation. To find out more, head to the FRDC website and have a look around.